Hello. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to upgrade the firmware of data center top of rack switches 5900 from Hewlett Packard Enterprise and particularly the incompatible upgrade. ISSU or in service software upgrade is an important criteria for a network operational team as this is a way to upgrade data center switches without service interruption. On HPE 5900 switches, we can highlight two particular upgrades. The compatible one, which is optimum for service availability, or the incompatible, which is the worst case scenario, and that we are going to demonstrate here. Such incompatible upgrade might happen when there are important future gaps between two major releases like R23 to R24. In both scenarios, this would apply on intelligent resilient framework based logical switch. Indeed, an upgrade of standalone switch would lead to minutes of downtime. You'll see that even in such worst case scenario of incompatible upgrade, a stack of 25900 can be upgraded with less than 2 seconds of downtime for layer 2 switching and connected or static layer 3 routing. This end up at being an acceptable downtime for people that will need to jump to next major release using IRF stack. So this demonstration will focus on a stack of 25900. Let me describe the process. Step zero is the initial state. This is about uh, the old release R23 where here in this example the unit 1 is the master and unit 2 is the slave. It could be the opposite. So we upload the new firmware on flash of IRF numbers, both numbers. Then moving to step number 1 which will be the first impact in the scenario, we are going to uh, set the bootloader of unit 1 for the new firmware and to reboot that unit as the current master. While unit 1 is rebooting, 2 became, become master and forwarding. Step number 2 is as soon as unit 1 is back from the reboot, there is a multiple active detection that occurs. As unit 1 is the lower member ID of the IRF stack, it becomes the new master and forwarding. Unit 2 enters what we call the MAD recovery state and will shut down all its ports except the IRF links between Unit 1 and Unit 2. So uplinks and downlinks of Unit 2 are down. The control plane switchover leads to reset all routing pairings. That is the second impact. Step number 3 is about to set the bootloader on unit 2 and reboot slot 2. Last step, which is the third impact, is about uh, unit 2 joining the stack and we back to an initial state with this case R24 being upgraded on both units of the IRF stack, unit 1 being the master. Let's move to the demonstration part, so from R23 to R24. The topology is quite simple as we interconnect an IRF core, here Hewlett Pack Enterprise 12 9, to an IRF access layer, here HPE 5900. Test server 1 and 2 connected to the core and some VMware and Citrix server connected to the access, or a cascaded switch as well, simulating a link aggregation. Here are the test flows and the monitoring of the 5900 IRF stack uplinks and downlinks. Server on the top will send IC ICMP packets every milliseconds to the downstream servers. Packet loss counter provide the associated impact, timeout being set to 10 milliseconds. 
So the total interruption will be the number of packets being dropped time 10 milliseconds. So let's move on the equipment 